you're looking at Zorin OS 15 Education Edition. That's it booting in the corner up to the live desktop in real time. This was released a few days ago on the 25th of September 2019. It's based on Ubuntu 18.04, supported till April 2023. It was about a four and a half gigabyte download, so it's pretty heavy on the download side. Once I got it up to the live desktop, I was curious what this icon down here in the panel was. I got no indication from clicking on it every which way I could think of. And we'll come to that a little bit later on. It took about 40 seconds to get to the live desktop. Then I installed it into a virtual machine in under 10 minutes. During the install, I noticed there was no option to encrypt the home folder. Once the install was complete, I looked in the disk's utility. I could see it was using approximately 14 gigabytes of disk space for the install itself. I noticed the multimedia volume keys on my keyboard did not work. Uh, the rolling the mouse wheel on the volume indicator did, but the multimedia keys did not on the keyboard. The software updater ran a minute or so after it booted up once it was installed and installed all the updates that it downloaded during the install process. That was all seamless, as you would expect. I've changed the desktop layout to give you a bit better look at all the applications that are installed on this beast. There's a, there's a fair whack of them in there. There's some pretty good stuff in there. A lot of it I have no idea what it is. I can only assume if you're a an educator or teacher or a parent, you've probably got a better idea than, than what I have, but I did recognize some of them and some of them I use. In fact, I'm, I'm using Caden Live to edit this video. My lack of education about what some of these apps are really became apparent when I started looking at them. As this is pretty much what the education edition of Zoran's all about, I decided I'd start most of them up have a bit of a, a tinker and a play, see if I could pass some of them. Some of them like this one here, blinking off, found as confusing as the traffic light, quite frankly, but um, I give it a go anyway. Some of these uh, clips have been sped up or slowed down or whatever, so you don't freak out too much about that. Uh, as I say, this is really what the edition's about, so I thought it would probably be of benefit but people that are actually considering using this to, to actually see what's in there and to have a look at them running. So there's a few minutes here at the end of, uh, of just the programs as I start them up and get bamboozled and confused by them. Some of these games are a lot harder than they look. Of course you get the awesome theming and colour schemes that Zoran put into all their distributions. Apparently that was a shark. And if you don't like any of the themes or the desktop layout, you can pretty easily change that by going into the settings and the Zoran Appearance app and a couple of clicks to the mouse and you'll be on your way. I could barely figure out how to work some of these apps. This one, Scratch Desktop, actually looked like it was some sort of a, a basic programming uh, aid for kids. I have seen that sort of stuff before. It's still above my pay grade, of course. Looking at these apps, I could only imagine what a current classroom looks like inside. It's been a little while since I've been at school, and it showed. This one is Vaon. This was the eye icon in the panel that I pointed out earlier on the, the video. It's virtual eyes on network or something like that. It's a software package to allow you to monitor students' desktops and push your desktop onto theirs and all that sort of good stuff. I guess mum and dad can become like the NSA of home. I was mesmerized by the splash screen on Blender. I haven't started every single app that I could find in here, but I have gone through the education menu fairly extensively here, so most of them have been started up for you to see what they look like. If you feel there's an app that you saw in the menu when I showed the menu but didn't see demonstrated, 
just leave me a note down in the uh, comment section there and I'll see what I can do about that. I was completely miffed at what some of these things actually do. CAD program, I can just see kindergarten kids using that. Although Zoran did say in their blurb about this, suitable for schools and universities, so there is some stuff stuff there for the younger looking kids and uh, probably stuff in there for uh, young adults as well going to, to college or uni. I have no idea what Critter is, but it looks sensational when I started it. Have you ever clicked on one of those videos, take an eight-year-old's quiz and been glad there was no one watching? Well, that's how I felt with some of these. Scribus, desktop publishing. I must confess I was rather astounded at the variety of applications available in the education sector. And this one I actually had a little play with because this is my latest little pet project at the moment is uh, Caden Live and video editing whatever. So there you go, there's a bit of a look around Zoran OS 15, the education edition. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you learned something from it. And if it helped you make your decision, well that's even better, isn't it?